Hey, what is up everybody? What is up Aquamigos? Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I appreciate that. My name is Tobias and welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video, we're not going to talk about the giant pimple I have right here on my face. We are actually going to talk about the difference between guppies and mosquito fish. And just like in my other videos where I have compared two similar yet different fish, this topic goes a lot deeper than I thought it would. So I thought it would be best to break this video up into three sections. They are going to be one, what are mosquito fish? Two, what is a guppy? And finally three, what the difference is between guppies and mosquito fish. This video took a long time to research, so if you do like this video, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and hit that like button. I upload new fish videos every Friday, so if that sounds like something that you might be interested in, you might want to also go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button so you never miss one of my uploads. And let's go ahead and get into this. So to determine the difference between mosquito fish and guppies, first we gotta find out what a mosquito fish is. Check this out. This is one of my fancy guppy tanks and I had these guppies outside in my pond and when I brought them in for the winter I accidentally took in a mosquito fish with them. And he actually does blend in pretty well but you can see that there are some differences. So mosquito fish are broken up into two species, the western mosquito fish, or Gambusia affinis, and the eastern mosquito fish, Gambusia holbrooki. And just a quick disclaimer, there are going to be a lot of scientific words in this video that I have never heard before, so there's a good chance that I might butcher the pronunciation of several of them. I believe that the mosquito fish that I have are the western mosquito fish. From what I've seen online, I think that they are the more common of the two here in California, but I am not 100% sure. Western mosquito fish naturally inhabit these areas, and eastern mosquito fish naturally inhabit these areas. However, they have both been introduced all over the world. Mosquito fish are live bearing fish that seem to do well in most water conditions. They can tolerate temperatures as low as 33 degrees Fahrenheit or 0.5 degrees Celsius. And pH levels between 6.5 and 8 seem to be ideal for these fish. Mosquito fish belong to the family Poacillidae and the genus heterophallus. And we're gonna talk more about that in a minute and you'll see exactly why. Now let's talk about what exactly guppies are. Guppies are small tropical fish native to the coastal streams of Northeast South America. And they owe their name to Robert John Lechmere Guppy who introduced guppies to the aquarium trade. There are different types of guppies as well. There's the common or fancy guppy, there are endler guppies, and there are swamp guppies. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to be talking about the species Poacilia reticulata or the common slash fancy guppy. Guppies do best in water temperatures between 72 degrees Fahrenheit and 82 degrees Fahrenheit or 22 to 28 degrees Celsius. And they are live bearers. Now let's go back really quick to where I was talking about the genus classification of these fish. Genus is the classification of an animal between family and species. For example, guppies belong to the Poacillidae family, I hope I'm saying that right, the Poacillia genus, and the Poacillia reticulata species, which is just the scientific name for guppy. So I hope that clears up a little bit what a genus is, and we're going to be talking a little bit more about that in a minute when we talk about the differences between guppies and mosquito fish. So now of course let's move on to the differences between guppies and mosquito fish. So now that we have established what mosquito fish are and we have established what guppies are, it's a little easier to tell the differences between the two. In fact, the only things that they really have in common is that they are both live bearers and they kind of look similar, especially when it comes to the female guppies and the female mosquito fish. Now when it comes to the classification of these fish, they are both from the same family, Poacillidae, also known as the live bearer family, but they are from an entirely different genus. Guppies are from the Poacillia genus, and mosquito fish are from the Heterophallus genus. Check this out. So check this out guys, right here I'm gonna write out Poacillidae and that is going to be the family. Then under that family, we have the genus Poacillia. And that's the one that guppies belong to. Now over here, there's another genus. And that's called Heterophallus. And that's the one that mosquito fish belong to. 
Now just for talking's sake, let's go ahead and throw in another genus here. I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation of this one, but it looks like it says baloney socks, but it's probably bologna socks. And under this genus, we have the species pike killifish. So the relation of guppies to mosquito fish is the same as the relation of guppies to the pike killifish. Very different looking fish. Actually, a fish that is even more related to the guppy than either of these fish are mollies, which are under the Poecilia genus. So guppies and mollies are somewhat closely related, and then mosquito fish and pike killifish have the equal relation to guppies as each other. In fact, guppies can actually mate with mollies, although their offspring will have a higher chance of having defects and a high chance of not surviving. So what does this all mean to somebody like myself who's just learning about all this for the first time? It means that somewhere along the line, scientists decided that guppies and mosquito fish share enough physical characteristics to belong to the same family, but are different enough physically to belong to different genera, which should be the plural of genus. And of course, their own separate species. And I just want to clear the air on a few things when it comes to guppies and mosquito fish, because there does seem to be a bit of misinformation going around online. Although if you go online, some people might say that guppies and mosquito fish can breed. They cannot. Just like they cannot breed with the pike killifish. Another thing is, is that a mosquito fish is not a wild guppy. I think I heard a couple people say that online and it kind of confused me. And it made me think that the species had a closer relation than they actually do. And of course, there are the obvious differences between the two fish. Mosquito fish will do fine in cold water, guppies will not survive in cold water. And of course, mosquito fish lack the colors that you find in guppies. I definitely learned a lot when making this video, and I hope you did too. And just really quick, I have a couple of shoutouts for this video. One for Unai Uria Sardina. Thank you so much for being an Aquamigo. Another one for Joel Shaw. Thank you, Joel, for being an Aquamigo. And one more for Liz Holenstein, who is actually my mom. Thank you, mom, for being an Aquamigo. If you would like a shout out in one of my upcoming fish videos, all you have to do is go down to the comments below and comment, I am an Aquamigo, and I will shout you out in my next fish video. And also, I wanna wish all the Aquamigos a happy new year. This video should be going up on New Year's Day. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, I'll put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias. I'm actually very active on Instagram, so make sure to follow me there if you like this video once again. Again, if you wouldn't mind going down there and giving this video a like, that would help me out so much. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure you go down there and also hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace!